I'm feeling pretty strong right now. So I think I'll go ahead and try to do this by myself. If you're watching this video, it means my plan worked, or at least I wasn't crushed by the weight of this tree. Today, I moved the quail chicks out to our quail hutch. We also just got a mineral block for our bucks. Let's see if they like it. Special treat for the goats. Special treat for the goats. Everybody stay inside. Lightning knows what to do.
I'm almost done with the ravine cleanup. I still have that one really large tree to tackle that fell right across our access path. My plan is to do that after I unload the rest of the feed. Today is supposed to be much cooler, so if I can get to it, I'd also like to muck out the chicken coop today. This tree has been in my way since those February ice storms. I've been on the fence about handling it myself. The easier way to do this would be to just cut off small sections starting on the uphill side and just carry each one out as firewood. But what I'd really like is to shift the majority of it right over to be a natural border for our access path and a future nurse log for other plants. I'm feeling pretty strong right now. So I think I'll go ahead and try to do this by myself. If you're watching this video, it means my plan worked, or at least I wasn't crushed by the weight of this tree. I'm wearing the mask because mucking out the chicken coop 
is a pretty dusty job. When I'm done doing this, I'll also be using some diatomaceous earth, and I don't want to breathe in that stuff either. I'm really, <clears throat> I'm really grateful to have these new compost bins right here for mucking out the coop. It's a lot more convenient than walking all the way over to the other side of the property. It's also a lot closer for me to bring over this old bedding material from the chick brooder that was in my shop. Hey, Dad. I am home. I should be here most of the day. <laughs> the chicken says hello. <laughs> Great, I'll see you when you get here. I'm just mucking out the chicken coop, so I'll be kind of dusty and dirty here, but... Uh... All right, all right. Bye. I thought I should explain a little bit more about diatomaceous earth for those who may not know what it is. We're using it as kind of a, a natural pesticide to protect our chickens. It's made from the fossilized remains of diatomes and the microscopic sharp edges of the silica basically dries out and kills off pests so they don't thrive and become a problem. I'm not using it in the compost. It's going inside the coop once I put the new bedding in there. It's perfectly safe and a natural way to protect our chickens. These little tan ones are kind of a mix. They're um, Nubian, Boar, and Kiko. That's the other kind of goat. Now, are these something that you guys can sell? Is that the whole These way? are specifically bred to be meat goats. Oh, yeah, so they get a little larger, a little quicker, and uh, good for meat. These two, that's a new one. I've never seen him. And that one over there, either one. Those we've had all along. Have really? Those are the ones? They're just bigger than when we the, first they, got them. And they got the, they, the yeah. They, they definitely change over time. Yeah. When they were little babies, they uh, didn't wow. have all that that wow. characteristic. That's amazing. Have you have you read any way how to butcher them? We're gonna have somebody do that for us. Okay, because <laughs> they're just a bigger animal. They're a bigger animal. Plus, we've raised them as bottle babies. It'd be pretty. Yeah, they're like pretty difficult. These are super affectionate sure, goats. Sure, sure. I, that makes total know. sense. It'd no, be I hard can't... hard to do that ourselves. Well, yeah, and I, it, 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 you know, it's like, it's like the next step. I mean, like you know, remember like first rabbit, you know, and, and yeah. you know. Sorry for making you. <laughs> no, that's fine. Use the I, knees a little I just bit. Find I find uh, the right way to say it. I find that when you don't trust your knees, sometimes you just yeah. Like I want to lead with one versus sure, sure. I'll I'll, I'll be uh, just a little in front of you in case you need well, to put your what, if I hand go, on my shoulder. I'd, I'd be pushing, so <laughs> I, I would jump. Man, all this work, Brian. This is amazing. You know, it feels really good to be. This far along, I'm almost done down here, actually. Wow. How many hours? I mean, you know. I like, don't know. This has been the majority of my year. Yeah. No, I mean, just like what, I'm, what, what I'm saying. I haven't done this, but I know how many things I have done that took hours yeah. and hours, and I go, is this a 10-year project? <laughs> where, do you, where do you get to it? <laughs> Anyways, this log right here uh -huh. was, of course, going diagonally right across all of this path. Oh, okay. And uh, so I just cut it off and, Got it over and here. slid it over. That takes some effort. It was uh, Is that compost something. down here too? Or no, just kind actually, of a... no, that's, uh, 
that's a tree that I've built a bin around a stump oh. and I put compost in there so the tree is growing its roots down into the compost and into the stump and once it's really established you know decades from now it'll just be this beautiful cascade chandelier kind of thing of roots above ground oh my gosh so a long-term project did you are those all volunteer the uh, ferns and everything yeah 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 because it looks like you've cleaned up over there you can see a lot you can see it a lot better over there now that I've got the IV and the and the sticks yeah. out of the way that's for the cattle that are on the other side. Have you never seen any cattle right there? We have. Really? We have. They come right up sometimes, not very often, but are I've they, actually... Oh, even over there? Yeah, I've actually petted one right over by the, the, the boy goats. Oh my gosh. I was just thinking about it, you know, the, because they don't, they can't go right down up and up, I wouldn't They think. do. They go right down, they'll drink from the, the stream wow. and they'll come up and eat the weeds. That's an effort on their part. It is. They're, I'm kind of surprised that yeah. they're as agile as they are. Big, big cows. Is that a bridge that Mike built at one time? You know, I, I think it is. I think it is. I, I wish it was actually on our side of the property line, but it's just right on the other side. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know, but I think he did build that. I mean, I'm not. Yeah. Because I know he had a bridge someplace. Yep. So if that's the only that's bridge. That's the only bridge. Yeah, then that, he did build that. And the stream never even, it, this is as little as water you'll probably ever see. Yep, there's always always water. It's spring fed, so yeah. always a little bit of moisture. Wow. Well, let's go down to the bottom. I, yeah, you know, I might have, uh, I might have waited if I'd known you were coming for a little bit of a, a little bit of assistance when I was doing this. It was pretty heavy. But mostly it was difficult because I didn't want the log to slide downhill towards me as I was moving it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so this tree is a western hemlock and it's uh, specifically chosen because it's a kind of tree that really, really likes growing on nurse logs and other stumps because it, it wants to be up high a little bit and away from the the ground, the ground vegetation so it gets a little more light and it's just uh, evolved to be uh, a stump nurse log is this, volunteer. Is this a scenery chair or I'm so tired I'm going to sit down here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a, I brought that one down today because the other one was crushed by the tree. <laughs> that's a lot of work. But it's a labor of love too. That's, that's, yeah. that's the other thing. Yeah. Mike would be really proud of you. Oh, that's, that's good to hear. I was just thinking, you know, we've done some work, but I, I was looking at that and I go, that really looks like a lot of work. <laughs> really, <laughs> you know, I, I've taken on some stuff, but I think that one there, I don't, I don't think I would want to do the hillside and then, you know, uh, how many, how many times you walk up and down? Oh my you know? goodness! Yeah. yeah, yeah, just walking up and down is an exercise. Oh my god! Carrying God's. heavy things going up and down is, it's is another thing entirely. What? I laid in a lot of the the logs, oh, okay. the bigger stuff along the edges of the creek, just as a way to use them. I'm gonna let them decompose in places, nurse logs. Well, it probably, I mean, you would think about it, if there's ever any real moisture and, you know, any kind of slide or like that. Something to, that would be yeah.
looks like some of the chickens missed their nest boxes. Sorry I took so long, chickens. 